so the next important physical impurity that we are going to study is the color okay so the color of water so the first thing that i want you to understand is if the water if the water is having some color in it let's say the color of water is red then it does not mean that the water is not drinkable okay first get this into the mind if the color of water does not imparts the safety of water okay the inverse may be true sometimes the bad water may have some different color but it is not necessary that a colorful water is dangerous to health okay now so coming to the main point how is this color induced in water so this color this color is caused by is caused by two things the first one is called as suspended impurities and the second one is called as dissolved impurities okay we have seen this both impurities in the first classification only okay suspended impurities and dissolved impurities so due to these two impurities the color is induced in the water now this color is classified color is classified into two types into two types so what are those two types the first is called as apparent color apparent color this apparent color is caused it is caused by suspended impurities it is caused by suspended impurities the second one is called as true color and this true color is caused by it is caused by dissolved impurities so no no need to go in the detail just remember these two points the main color is classified into two colors that is apparent and true color apparent color is caused by suspended impurities and true color is caused by dissolved impurities now how the color is measured so the measurement of color is done by a technique which is called as color matching technique so measurement of color is done by it is done by color matching technique color matching technique so it is done by color matching technique now what are the units of color so in what it is unit in which unit it is measured so it is measured in it is measured in tcu it is measured in tcu or hazen unit this tcu stands for tcu stands for true color unit now one more point is there and that we should remember because that is asked many times in the gate exam the device which is used so color of water is measured by a device which is called so this device which we are using for finding out the color is called as tintometer tintometer and the color is measured in tcu okay now one more point you write it down what is 1 tcu so 1 tcu is equal to 1 mg of platinum as chloro platinate ion mixed in distilled water 
mixed in distilled water then the color produced then the color produced is 1 tcu okay so one when we are adding 1 mg of platinum in distilled water then the color which is produced that is called as 1 tcu okay now this color we will match it with the color of given water sample that's why we are calling it as color matching technique and it is done by using a device which is called as tintometer so these are all the important points that you have to remember now the last point that is what is the acceptable limit for the color okay so what is the acceptable limit so the acceptable limit is 5 tcu to 25 tcu it is 5 tcu to 25 tcu and this tcu is called as tcu it stands for true color unit so these are all the important points from color now in the next video we will see the next parameter that is turbidity